Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode 150. I got a bunch of finished objects to share with you guys and no whips. <laughs> I have technically one whip going, I just haven't worked on it at all in a while. <laughs> but that's uh, alright. I did get sidetracked um, this last week making other things. My arm is so sore. <laughs> but um, I made three amigurumis and a lovey this past week I'm trying to remember what today is today is monday see so yeah, it was last week um yeah so i didn't work on my christmas blanket that's my active whip that hasn't had any work done on it since i finished the uh santa claus squares which is in that hole right there somewhere but anyways let's get into it so i got um one two three four five six finished objects to share with you guys so we'll just start at the top this technically isn't 100% finished because I need buttons for it, but I just haven't went to Hobby Lobby to get buttons for it. But this is called the Mila sweater. I was working on it, I think last time I shared it with you guys. Or it was a watch working on Wednesday, I can't remember. But it's a little baby sweater that I'm making, or made, out of a mandala ombre. But I can't remember the color name. I have the ball band still, but I have no idea where it's at. It's somewhere. But here's the little sweater. It's so cute. I need some buttons to put up here to button it. And then I think that's supposed to be the back. You know, you put it on the baby and button it in the back. And then the front looks like that. It's so cute. I love these colors. They're bright and pretty. June is going to be a winter baby, but I can still put her in cute colors. <laughs> but I think that's such a cute pattern. And it's a free pattern, and it was super quick to work up. And I still have some scrap balls left of this yarn it's over there on my rolly cart three-tiered thing and i'm gonna try to make a little hat or a headband that's what i was thinking a headband with like a flower on it to go with this because i think that'd be cute but it's so cute and i can't wait to finish it and i want to take this with me to hobby lobby to uh look at buttons and you know like hold them up to it and see which ones i think would be best for this little sweater it's so cute it's not really a sweater though i don't think i wouldn't consider this a sweater because the sleeves are so short like, this is a sweater to me. <laughs> Technically, this is a cardigan. This is a, um, Everyday Cardigan by Sorella. I made it last year. I actually entered it in the fair this year and got a blue ribbon on it. But I'm chilly, so I'll put it on. <laughs> so, it's kind of cooling down here in Tennessee, finally. It's in, been in the 70s, and next week it's supposed to drop down to the 60s. Oh, well, this week. I keep friends it's Monday. <laughs> but it's been raining a lot. Anyways, that was by the Orchid Loop. I can't remember if I said that. But it'll be linked below. Alright, my next finished object was my in movie square i did do a video on this uh my in movie was uh nanny mcphee so this is the square that i made for it i'm using the same square pattern i have been using which is the simple says it best square uh by the perfect knot <laughs> and then this little beehive i just made on my own i didn't use a pattern but yeah so that's that it's my in square and then my next finished object this little bunny i was making for june because I made Jesse one of these. And um, I was using. What is this here for? This is uh, Karen Baby Cakes Retro. I think it's called Retro. <laughs> so I started using the um, cake to make the lovey that I'm going to show you in a minute. But then I wanted to make this little bunny too. So I made a little bunny. <laughs> this is supposed to be a big bunny. Uh, the pattern's written with a velvet yarn and a big hook. And I made Jesse small like this too. His is in his toys. He plays with it still. He had it the other day. <laughs> and um, it's called the, uh, on Ravelry, it's called the classic stuffed bunny. But on the website, and it's by uh, One Dog Wolf, it's called the Velvet Rabbit or something like that. I can't remember. But either way, I'll have it linked below. Now, the real pattern, the, the actual written pattern, is for a bigger, big size um, amigurumi. But I just used worsted weight yarn and an elf hook. And it came out small, just like Jessie's. I didn't put a tail on it because it's going to be for June, although it won't be with her um, unsupervised. But I'm, I'm really bad at making pom-poms. <laughs> they, like, fall apart real easily. I haven't, like, learned a trick to do that yet. So um, I just opted not to put it on there. So, yeah, I used mostly the pink colors, but it got a little bit of blue right there. <laughs> and I just thought it was super cute. So there's her little bunny, just like Jessie's. Jessie wanted this one. And because I made this for June, I told him that I would make him an amigurumi. To tell me what he wanted so first he told me he wanted a turtle so <laughs> the night that i made the bunny i made this turtle 
and this turtle is called Lily the Turtle by Monkey Boo Boo. <laughs> and uh, he picked out the colors. He wanted a blue shell and a green turtle body. And I let him pick out the actual colors. And these are the colors he picked. So I made him this little turtle. That he's, he's been sleeping with this and playing with it. So um, I think this is a red heart blue. And this green is I Love the Sharn. Uh, shoot. I can't remember what the color is called. It's kind of it's similar to... Um, the I Love the Sharn Glow Worm that they quit making, I think, which I hate because I love it. It's in my Halloween blanket over there. But it's, it's really bright. It's brighter than spring green because right there is spring green. It's like a more neon color. So I like it a lot. And I made a Halloween project for someone I'm doing a swap with out of this and I had some left over. So he picked that turtle color. And um, the shell is just blue scrap something. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, he likes it a lot. Put little safety eyes. I'll let him pick out the color he picked blue. Because I have a red, brown, solid black, blue, and green. So he picked out the blue ones. And it looks so cute. A really easy pattern. It worked out fast. It's just it's got a lot of sewing. The legs, the tail, and the head are all sewn on. So if you don't like doing that, I wouldn't suggest this pattern. <laughs> and then after he, after I made the turtle, the next day, he or that night, he said that he wanted an axolotl. Which is like a lizard thing. It's like a salamander. Um, and so I, I didn't make him for him that night because it was already even, you know, nighttime. So I told him I'd make it for him the next day while he was at school. So I made this pattern, which is called Amigurumi Axolotl by Mbaka Designs. So here it is. He wanted it black, but I did not want to make it black. So I made it gray. <laughs> and uh, he was fine with that. He still loves it. And he wanted the little, uh, frills, which are their gills. That's how they breathe. Um, to be green. So I just used the same turtle green. And it's got just regular black eyes. But there's his little axolotl. This was kind of a pain in the butt. Because this, this pattern has a lot of shaping in its body. And I don't like patterns like that because I can't just crochet it without paying attention. <laughs> and I did do the legs different. Because the legs wanted it to be uh, four single crochet tube. And that's just that was too tight for me. So I, I just made them five single crochet tubes. It was a little bit easier. And I don't think I made them as long as they were supposed to be. The day that I was making this, our power went out. Uh... Something happened to like the transformer back behind here blew up like two of them and our power was out for like four hours that day So I made that that day while the power was out <laughs> But um, he loves it. He's been sleeping with it too and playing with it. So Yeah, I think I'm supposed to make him another one of these. I think he asked for another one, but I can't remember now <laughs> But there was it was pretty easy except the shaping was just annoying because you have to keep looking at the pattern I prefer patterns. That's just like, you know, you can read it and then you can just kind of go off of it from reading it but I still got it done, so he loves them. That's his two little critters. All right, and my last finished object is the lovey I was working on. I think I showed this in the Watch It Working On Wednesday last week, and um, the head turned out huge. <laughs> I probably should have used a smaller hook for the bunny head, but it's, it doesn't matter now, it's done. So I made this out of the book Snuggle and Play Crochet by Carolina Guzman Benintaz. And the blanket pattern that I used from it is the Peaks pattern. This one is like a point, it looks like a, it's a 10 point star pattern. I used that as the blanket. And then as the head, I used the bunny, which is called Clover the Bunny, right here. I made the head and the ears. I didn't have enough yarn to make the arms for the lovey. I ran out of yarn. That was the Karen cake that I was using, the Karen baby cake. So here's, <laughs> it's head turned out big, like I said, but it's okay, it's still cute. So I used the bunny, I used the yarn to make the bunny, and then I started using it for the blanket, and I went ahead and decided to use the blues and yellow for the blankets, the blanket part, and then I was gonna use the rest of it for the bunny, except that tip of that ear, <laughs> um, just so that the blanket would be the same color. So the blanket is the star blanket which is really cute, I love it. And I just, I had to take the cake apart a little, little bit to, um, I think I have a scrap ball. Oh, it's right here, I think this is it. I can get my blower down without breaking it. Yeah, this is the leftover blue. There's pink on the inside of this, and then this is just the blue. So, I still have some of that that I can make something with. I'll put it in my scrap thing. <laughs> but there's the money. His head turned out huge. I put safety eyes and a nose on it. And this again will be supervised with the baby. But um, I, I won't even be using this for her until she's 
bigger, you know, a few months old, big enough to handle things and um, use it as sensory type thing. But yeah, it's cute. I just, the head turned out huge. <laughs> I don't know why the head turned out so big, but um, I probably should have used a smaller hook, but that's okay. I still love it, it's still cute. So that goes with her new little bunny. So that's all my finished almonds this week. So that's what I worked on last week. Uh, last two weeks, really, because I think it's been about two weeks since I made a video, a uh, No Kitchen episode. But yeah, so I do have one whip going, and that's the Christmas blanket. I have my Santa squares down here. And I also have the solid red squares are in my cart. I need to work on the second part of that, but I just haven't sat down and done it. I got it pulled out in a project bag. I just haven't worked on it because I got sidetracked with all these little projects. But I like making little amigurumis because it's really quick projects that I can start and get done, you know, within an hour or so. And it's more satisfying. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I've been working on. I don't have any other whips right now. I want to make a headband to match this little sweater thing. And I got the yarn for that. It's on my cart. And then I don't know what else I want to make from there. <laughs> I have a lot of patterns that I downloaded recently that I want to start on. I found a really cool sweater. Well, it's a poncho. I can't remember now what it's called. I'll have to share it another day. I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's called the Hagu poncho but I can't remember who who made it but it's a really big poncho and it's got sleeves you know like it's loose and poncho-y right here and then like from here down is a fitted sleeve and it looks so cool but um to make the size that I would want it, it I need 2,500 yards of the same yarn and I would I think I want it a dark color like a gray or something I think that would look nice but um I'd have to just get all that yarn I got a shot in my arm and now it's so sore. <laughs> it is so sore. But um, yeah, let's see here. Yeah. So yesterday was National Wife Appreciation Day and Devin, being the sweetheart he is, bought me some flowers and stuff, which is in there, and some candy. He also bought me two balls of yarn. Oh, I can reach him. He got me Mandala Baby. Is it really called Diagon Alley? That is so weird. Why is it called that? <laughs> what? This is so weird. It's like Alpha Harry Potter, right? It's called Diagon Alley. That is so weird. And it's got different language underneath it, but it's called Diagon Alley. Why is it called that? That is so weird. I don't know. That's Alpha Harry Potter, isn't it? Because that's where they go to buy all their school supplies. <laughs> but he got me these two. So I'm going to make something for that. The baby out of that. I also have this yarn that was gifted to me. Oops. My cakes were going away. Oh, it's behind me. <laughs> right here. It's this multicolor and then it's a solid pink and a solid purple that I want to make a blanket with. But I haven't been able to find a blanket because it's a, as a DK. I haven't been able to find a blanket pattern that uses DK that I want to make. I have to keep looking around and see what I can find. But... Yes, I'm going to do that eventually. <laughs> I don't know if I'll do it this week. I am planning on sewing this next week. I got a whole bunch of fabric cut already. Uh, I got everything cut. I got the, the uh, outers, the liners, and the interfacing all cut. I just got to get the sewing. <laughs> and I had to go get some more zippers because I ran out of zippers. I got to order some more. A big set of zippers. I found it on Amazon. I just got to order it. And yeah, I guess that's it. So I'm going to hopefully have another bag update. Let's see here. Today is the 20th. It's Monday. Maybe by next Monday I'll try to have them in the shop. It really depends on how busy we are this next week. I don't think we have too much coming up. But <laughs> I'll try to get them up. They're going to be zipper project bags with matching notion pouches. And then there's going to be a few just extra notion pouches. Five extra ones just because I had enough fabric so I had to cut them um, out. So yeah, it's going to be some cute. There's going to be some fall prints. I can't remember now what I cut out. A horse print, a unicorn. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember now. It's, I'll show them whenever I get around to making them. But yeah, so that's everything I'm going to share today, I guess, because I don't have a whole lot more to talk about. I need to get some more whips started because right now I have nothing going except my Christmas blanket, which I need to work on. I just haven't done that. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and get this edited and up, and I will see you guys in another video hopefully soon. <laughs> what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Tuesday. I don't know. I'm going to try to make some more videos because I kind of slacked um, this last week. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know. I got a national holiday coming up that I want to um, 
make four. I think I found two that I want to make four. But anyways, I'm, I'm not sidetracking. But I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video pretty soon, hopefully. <laughs> Bye, guys.